Hey Charles, here's video number two. So obviously remove the control box, um, send us in photographs soon. D1 was definitely fried, replaced that, um, reinstalled it. it. C5 works, but the lights still don't come on. I still recheck the pod, pod works on the test board. So therefore it's either the red loom that goes from, um, that's uh, here, goes to the pod, or it's probably more likely just a fault in the control box. So what I'll do is I'll take this inside and have a look at a few components um, tomorrow or the, or the next day. And obviously I'll double check the freezers as well, but it's probably something like one of these or something else underneath there. But when you press the button now, you know, you do get the, the motor spins, which is cool. So it's just a problem getting the yeah, LEDs to light up, otherwise it's, it's almost working. So I've removed the motor, it's now here. It's really, really noisy and crappy, so um, hopefully it's nothing's knackered inside, so take that apart later, have a look inside there, clean it up, it's pretty disgusting. Otherwise, it's all sort of complete looking, just, just yeah, very dirty at all, so hopefully that'll be alright. Um, Refed the wiring through, this is this is the new loom, the original loom, also new cable ties, etc. around there. And this re-cable re tied this, yeah, this up again, and obviously I'll put the motor in there as well, and when it's working I'll then cable tie it to the chassis. Um, this part here all came off fine, that sounds good. It's all pretty disgusting, it's good, good old clean. So yeah, there we go. And there's the other bits in the box there actually. So yeah, hopefully we'll get this, get this working, do a bit of a clean up tonight and that'll be it. Excellent, nice one, cheers.